YouTube, welcome to my channel, welcome to Vlogmas. Figured I would give it a try this year. I have done it two years ago, 12 days of Vlogmas, and thought I would try it again. It can get, it can get pretty difficult to vlog every single day. I can only imagine people that do it for like 24, 30 days straight. God bless that, it's definitely not easy, especially uh, editing it and getting it up. So two years ago what I would do is I would vlog the same day edit it the same day, get it up that same night. So it's just way too much. So it's not quite December 1st yet. December 1st is tomorrow. But in order to be ahead of the game, I feel like this is the best plan where I'll vlog the day before and upload it for December 1st. So technically not December 1st, but it's holiday season. I got my Merry Merch shirt on. I took a shower as you can tell by my wet hair. So I'm gonna let that air dry a little bit. And I have a video that I wanna edit for Lilac Street lashes. My lashes actually fell off in the shower so I just did like a quick wing. I've had them on for a few days now and they just fell off in the shower but as soon as I get out of the shower I always do my skincare because otherwise my skin is like dying for some quench. For some quench? For some moisture so I'll turn on my PMD cleanser, the warming side. I already have my serums on here all nice and warmed up and just apply them and this feels so great. I love to do this every single morning. If you've watched a few of my vlogs, you will see that I love my eye patches even though I apply them incorrectly some of the times. I purchased this and I mentioned it in my gift guide. It's 12 days of masking and these mask eye masks are supposed to have great skin benefits. It says they're packed with powerhouse ingredients to help diminish uh, under eye circles, puffiness, fine lines, diminish the appearance of. It's always those keywords. So it's not gonna help diminish, it's gonna help diminish the appearance of. So I feel like always pay attention to the keywords and you can keep them in the fridge if you wanna help with puffiness. They just had great reviews and I love this little holiday gift set. So I figured it would just be, and it's by Dr. Erno Laszlo. I pronounce it Laszlo, I'm not sure. He, this is his skincare line that he created. So I figured I'm gonna give them a try and you, each one is individually packed and there's 12 here for like 12 days of masking. I thought that was super cute and I think it would make a great gift as well for somebody that loves eye patches. So let's give these a try because honestly I've never, ooh, fancy, fancy. So I'm gonna put these on and then I have the video to edit from Lilac Street that I wanna have up probably today, tonight. These are kind of different. They're the same shape throughout unlike traditional eye patches which have a point on one side and they're very they have like almost like a honeycomb mesh to them I don't know if you guys can see it's taking a little focus so very interesting it's almost it's as if they have a fabric underneath so I'm gonna give these a try for 12 days of vlogmas and see how they work I do have fine lines like crow's feet and some dryness that I kind of want to those are like my main concerns not so much puffiness. I don't really deal with puffiness, but I do deal with um, sometimes dark circles in the inner corner. So hopefully that helps with that. Oh, the other one is sandwiched on the other side. So I'm gonna, I'm thinking for today's vlog, we'll decorate the house. I already have the tree up. I put the tree up and a few other things that I purchased beforehand, like from Home Goods. But I figured for today's vlog, I will like, get my decorations out of the basement and see what I can put where. Like I have a nativity set, the stockings, um, we'll figure it out, we'll see. So for now, I'm just gonna make myself a cup of coffee, sit in bed, edit that video, and get the day started. By the time I clean the kitchen, wash the dishes, made myself another espresso shot. I do still have the eye patches on, but my hair is essentially, it's half more than halfway dry, I would say, and if you have fine thin hair, like I do, then you can relate that your hair is not the best when it's air dried. I do have a few tape and extensions in and I'm gonna be taking them out in December before my hair appointment. I have a hair appointment December 10th. I did them myself. I put one here, two in the back, one in the side here. I initially had two here, but I took that top one out. Um, I don't know, I just like this better. It's more comfortable for my hair type, but if I were to air dry my hair, it would. this is what it would look like, but just dry. So no volume at all whatsoever and um, so I'm going to at least air dry the root crown area and then let the ends air dry the ends I'm not too particular about. And I love to use the Orbe Maximista Thickening Spray. This is such a great 
all-in-one product because it works to thicken the hair strands, gives it a little bit of texture, and then also helps lift the roots a, a little bit, not too much, but I love this stuff. I do have to change the sheets today and do some laundry, so probably do that as well. I know that it's not very Christmassy, this vlog, but I feel like the whole point of vlogs, sorry buddy, I feel like the point of vlogs is to kind of feel like you're hanging out with someone, at least that's why I love to watch vlogs. I feel like I'm virtually hanging out with someone and that's why I've always loved vlogs, even though I'm not obviously, you know, there. It just makes it feel like, you know, you're hanging out, you're hanging out with friends, something like that. So let me edit the video I gotta edit. Then it can also get difficult vlogging because my kids are, your typical kids, ages three, five, and seven. These are not blue light glasses, by the way. I don't know why I just like wearing them. I think they're so cute, like in a cute accessory. But they're ages three, five, and seven, and I don't want to include my kids in vlogs so much. Like, I'm not that kind of vlogging channel. You know how they have, like, family channel, like the Ace Family, for example, that I'm sure most people know about. They, uh, you know, they're very centered around them and the kids. I try not to include the kids, it's just something that I've chosen to do. Yeah, you'll see them pop up here and there, but for the most part, not so much. Um, so it gets hard because obviously they're such a big part of my life, you know, I'm a mom of three. So it's kind of, you know, hard working around that and trying to vlog around that. Um, so this should be interesting. This should be very interesting. So I changed the bed sheets, put away, did some laundry, put away the kids' laundry, did my makeup. I have on these lashes from Amazon. I'll link them down below. They are very pretty. They're basically the same exact lash clusters as Bodermincer, if anybody has ever tried them. I think they're literally the exact same lash, but they're from Baileyon. So very pretty lashes. Lashes make such a difference. And I think I'm gonna make myself a peppermint mocha now. I'm just gonna get a drink so much coffee. I actually have a new espresso machine coming. It should come in on Thursday. I randomly stumbled across it. It looks like such a beautiful coffee machine, espresso, espresso machine. We have copper accents throughout the kitchen. And that one is, you can choose between, I think, black, silver, and white. I chose the matte white with copper, and they all have the copper accent. It looks gorgeous. I didn't know, but GE Appliances now makes coffee makers and espresso machines. So they came out with a line called Cafe. I'll show you guys on Thursday's vlog. I just totally dropped this so it's like all wonky. I found this at Aldi. It is uh, oat creamer and this is the peppermint mocha flavor. I have their pumpkin spice one and it's actually really good. I used it to make pumpkin cream cold brews and it gave that perfect flavor. This one is not as sweet so that's nice. And it's also not as pepperminty, so it's like just a subtle hint of flavor and it's perfect to add a little bit. I guess it depends on how much you put in. I just do like a little bit in my latte milk and I'll add that just for the flavor alone and it's perfect. So I'm going to make that and then drag all my, my bins out of the basement. It was actually just one bin because my other three, two of them are Christmas ornaments and I already have my tree up and I'm going to keep it like this. I know it's not everybody's jam, but I love the whole, I don't know, I love how it looks. There's like probably less than 20 ornaments on here or maybe something like that. And um, so I'm not gonna get those two boxes. I don't need them. Usually we have two Christmas trees. We, we used to get a real one every year. I think this might be the first year that we don't get a, a real tree. We've been married for 11 years now and every single year we would get a real tree. It's kind of sad. I might have my husband get come with us to get just like a little mini one that the kids can decorate. I'm still thinking about it that we can put in the family room. Um, but I feel like it's just so much less hassle. You can put it up earlier uh, as much as I love the tradition of going together to get it. I don't know, maybe we'll like start it up again if we don't do it this year. Might skip a year, we'll see. So don't need the ornaments. And then the third box is Christmas lights. Don't need that either, like for the tree. So it's just this one box here. I really don't have too much Christmas stuff. I found this at LD one year. I think Target. Or was it Target? No, this one was LD, I think. What is in here? I have these at the dollar store. I have to get them from the basement as well. 
got like a bunch of these with Christmas trees and I would put it on their play kitchen. They used to have a play kitchen. But let's just get started. Have these stockings. Use the same ones every single year. I think I might just do the kids this year. My friend Lisa was like, because I would always do all five of us and I never filled mine or my husband's. I would just fill the kids and my friend Lisa's like, she just does it just for her kids. And I'm like, that's a good idea. Like I don't, we don't need stockings in particular. So plus the ones that we have for ourselves are red. The kids are all this cream color and the red just doesn't go this year. I put this in here so that it doesn't break, but I'm not doing anything champagne-y, so half of these I'm not even going to use, honestly, because I'm not just doing these champagne-y tones this year as much as I love them and as beautiful as they are. Maybe I'll like put it in our room or something. I have no idea. And then these I found at Target, I think. These cute little wooden houses. It's like a whole set. From the yeah, that goes in the other as well. And then I put these string lights behind the houses so that it kind of looks like a lit up city. It's actually really cute. And then these I use for the dining room table. These I found at Target. These really cute little, these are actually perfect for the family room so or this living room. So I'll probably put them on the piano. Some more that I'm gonna put on the dining room table. Another one. These are all from Target. One more little guy that I bought as a set for these right here. Target this year, they don't really have, I haven't seen like cute stuff like this or like this that I saw within the past, I don't know, this year I feel like the Christmas decor is, I'm glad that I already have this stuff and I can reuse it and I will continue to reuse it. I found a few things, like at Home Goods. I found this really cute box right here that I keep on the table, but I would say like for the most part, maybe it's because I'm set and I'm just looking for particular things and I can't find them. Maybe that's what it is, but if you're like, starting off fresh or you know you're not really looking for anything particular then you don't really care and then i have these wreaths here and i'm gonna put them on i have these maps from mapiful over there kind of like what i did here i'm gonna put them on the maps one for each map this i have no idea this christmas tree i've had for forever i think i might put it by the fireplace i think that'd be really cute i literally had it when i was like a teenager, we used to have it at my mom's house. So I just took it because I thought it was cute. <laughs> this nativity set, which they don't sell anymore at Target. It was $30, it was a really good deal. I just kind of kept the box because it's easy to store. I know that some people will say uh, the nativity sets are not exactly accurate because the three wise men were not there when Jesus was born, maybe Jesus was born. They came when he was around the age of two, something like that by the time they got there. Um, but I still love the concept and I think it looks really cute. It's like white with gold. You just and then the mistletoe was a target find from last year. I'm gonna hang it right over our doorway as soon as you walk in. And then last but not least is are the um, Christmas stockings. And I have five because I got the word Mary, M-E-R-R-Y. So that's gonna be kind of weird. We'll figure it out. It's not a big deal, honestly. here that go over the entryway going into the dining room but my it's missing a nail in the middle so my husband said to wait for him uh he's gonna do that i guess he doesn't trust me <laughs> but i'm so excited because my package came in i have been eyeing this package for for the minute i ordered it so i was looking for designer dupes not replicas but designer dupes so you know like bags that are good quality but they don't, some bags, I just love the style. I don't care so much about brand names, but I'm pretty sure subconsciously we like certain styles because of the brand names. So it's like a twisty situation, but whatever, that's not the point. So I found this website called Bags Inc or Bag Inc. I will leave, I have, I opened up an affiliate account with them. So 
with my experience, I had a great experience. I know that when I ordered from them, I looked up the website and it just had hor horrible reviews. I think it was Trustpilot or something. I have no idea. They were saying like it's a scam and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to see my $100 ever again. It's I found a bag. They have so many different bags. They have faux leather. They have a lot of lambskin leather. Like seems like good quality, really cute bags for so many different designer handbags. This came in. It came in DHL, uh, the DHL package here. I'm not going to show you because it has my address and stuff. But for a minute there, it like got stuck in customs or said customs would not release it and then they released it and then it got to New York but it said that it was on hold because it was going through like it needed to be inspected and I'm like oh my gosh like for sure thought that like I was on edge the entire time because I thought I just would not get this bag it seemed like it was just a little bit sketched but from the minute from the day that I ordered up until now it's been exactly two weeks and it's here so I had no issues, I mean, other than like tracking it and constantly thinking like, um, you know, that it's stuck in customs or whatever and they're not gonna release it, which I don't know why. I'm not sure why it got stuck in customs and why there was an issue. This green thing says, examined by US Customs and Border Protection. Like that's just, not gonna lie, it's kind of weird why they had to open it. I guess because maybe they thought it was a replica and there was like an issue with that. So they examined it. You'd have to sign off on it. To make sure but let's let's see this bag so far it looks so cute i'm so excited Aww. so this is a dupe for the y an ysl bag how cute oh my gosh i'm so excited so this bag i paid 109 dollars for i found a coupon online i'll try to see if i can find it and if it's still uh valid but it says that it's a lambskin. It has a little clasp on the back. This does come in multiple different hardware colors. I don't know, it smells. It smells like a leather car seat, like the seat of a car, the leather. And this seems like decent hardware. It's not like plastic. I guess we will see, time will tell, but let's open it up. It does have this chain with the um, leather strap up top and the rest of it is just a gold chain. It is heavy. So hopefully it doesn't fade. It's not like plastic or anything. And then inside, let's see, let's see, let's see. It has like the burgundy red color, like so, and then the various pockets. It says that it's lambskin. It's like, it's like really soft leather. It's interesting. I've never seen lambskin. The stitching seems really nice. I don't know, like I'm not a professional expert or anything but I wanted a specific design, so I found this, and now that I got my bag, I feel very comfortable going and ordering more. They have the cutest, like, GG. They're actually more like CG. It's not the double G Gucci type. It's a CG, but the cutest uh, flat bags for that, they have Chanel flat bags, and I love that they don't have the logo on them because I don't, I don't want a replica. I want something that looks like it's similar, but you obviously know that it's not. So this is actually so cute. I will leave the link for this bag down below for anybody that is interested. I don't know, it's just so cute. I'm so excited to wear this. Ooh, pretty. Mm -hmm. Drop the lights. Let's get that special effect. Romantica. Ooh, ready. Thought it's actually quieter after dinner. They went outside to play with uh, my husband got for Josiah. Like this car that basically goes through anything. It's like an, basically an RC car, but for adults. He got it for Josiah, but he plays with it himself more than Josiah does, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> But anyway, I thought I would go through and kind of show what I have so far, finish off the vlog for today since it's looking super cozy. Hopefully you guys can see and the quality is not too bad. This is a little manger, uh, what do you call it? Oh my gosh, why do I feel like I'm having a brain fart? Then I kind of put the trees here, but it doesn't quite flow, so I might tweak some things here and there. And I was thinking to also add some evergreens here from outside just to make it look a lot more Christmassy, little pops here and there. 
those you guys I mentioned earlier in the video, the Christmas tree, this has already been done. And then this is the fireplace situation. We don't really use this fireplace anymore. It's not a fireplace, it's a wood stove. We converted it to wood stove. My husband has to finish off the trim. On the other side, we have the pellet stove. That's what we usually use. And I put the little Christmas tree there with, I'm gonna have to do the print those tonight, like they're little uh, things to read every single day, little papers of what we wanna read. I wasn't crazy about the stocking situation at first, but you know, I actually really like how it came out now. It's not perfectly symmetrical, and I know it's not, but it'll do. I think it's really cute, super cozy, hung those up, got the lights going, loving how everything's coming together. Put the mistletoe up. I wanna show you the names of those, but that's where I put the three wreaths, and those are maps from Mapaful. This is basically all that we have going on here. 